All right, Nick, let's talk about the Florida State Seminoles. This is a team here that has been making some noise in the news media lately. A lot of headlines are talking about Florida State, and I think the story that they bring up and their greater fit into the ACC is a very, very interesting one. Yeah, while we're talking about interesting stories impacting Florida State's future, F Seminole fans, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. We're talking future, so we're going to talk 2023 right now. Let me know what matchup you're looking forward to more than any other next year for the Florida State Seminoles football program. Is it the kickoff against LSU, rivalry against Florida, another, another rivalry against Miami, or maybe a different matchup altogether? Let me know what game next year for Florida State you're looking forward to more than any other one, and let me know in the comment section below. But all right, Miles, what you got? What's so exciting out of Tallahassee? Yeah, Nick, so the most exciting thing in Tallahassee right now is Florida State is kind of trying to lay down the law when it comes to the ACC. Uh, and they think that they are bringing a lot to the table and aren't exactly getting what they deserve. And when you look at the numbers, when you dive deep into things, that's pretty much true. Uh, I have a 2019 report pulled up, Nick, and Florida State cleared roughly $87.5 million in revenue that year. Second place is Miami who cleared $57.1 million in revenue, yeah. a mere $30 million less than Florida State brought to the table. And that brings up my point when athletic director Michael Alford stated that it's not fair that Florida State is responsible for 15% of the total revenue brought into the ACC, and they're getting less than half of that back on their return, uh, getting only a 7% return of the revenue share back from when I guess they pull all the money, all the ACC teams and split it back out evenly uh, to all the programs. So that doesn't seem very fair if you're asking me, Nick. And, you know, it, it really just, it, it seems like they're getting ripped off and they need to do something. So there's two options that Florida State has put on the table. They said either A, the ACC can move away from this balanced revenue sharing model to an uneven revenue share model to where the, the highest earners get more of a return than the lowest earners, or they're going to leave the ACC. Yeah. And you think that sounds crazy, but when you look at the Oklahomas, the Texases, the Southern Cows, UCLAs, all these teams that are heading for greener pastures, they were able to do it. They were able to bite the bullet, take the hit, buy out their rights, uh, and move on, and they think it's for the best. I think it would be for the best for Florida State as well, because it seems as if, by all reports, it's only going to cost them roughly about $120 million to buy out all of their rights and get out of the ACC, which they could recoup all of that in spending in roughly four years, Nick. So all of that okay. being said, yeah. what do you think about Florida State here? So it's interesting, right? You said that report was from 2019. Why did Florida State not care in 2019 or 2018 or 2020 or 2021, right? You brought it up. Because of the conference realignment going on, we're seeing two super conferences being formed. Obviously, Oklahoma and Texas moving to the SEC, Southern Cal and UCLA, like you pointed out, moving to the Big Ten. We're seeing, and I talked about it a little bit in the Oregon Ducks video we posted a couple of days ago about how college football is being realigned, like the NFL, where you have you know two conferences, an AFC and the NFC, if you will, and that's what the Big Ten and the SEC is becoming very quickly. And, and conferences like the Big Twelve, like the Pac-12, like the ACC are falling behind. And Florida State, Blue Blood Program, national title contender, been that way for decades, do very well in recruiting. You brought up the revenue. They bring in very successful big-time program. They're reading the room, and they're like, if we're in the ACC, we're going to be behind the eight ball in terms of you know the big games, the big matchups, the big dollars, and more importantly, competing for national titles. Because I think we're, gonna, we're not too far away, Miles, where basically the Big Ten and the SEC has every playoff team. Right, every team in the college football playoff and the ACC and, and the Big 12 and Pac 12, whatever's left of them are just fighting for scraps. And Florida State does not want that to happen, obviously. So Florida State's looking around and saying, okay, we got Southern Cal, UCLA, you know, going to the Big Ten. We got Texas, Oklahoma. They're moving to the SEC. We need to set conditions. We need to get public opinion behind the fact that we need to leave the ACC. And what bigger way to do it than to say, hey, we're being robbed. We know we're not getting our fair shake. We're being treated unfairly by the ACC. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is exactly what we're seeing from the athletic director at Florida State saying he's going public like, hey, listen, we're just being jibbed here, right? We're earning more than we're bringing in. So we need to do something about it. And I think that's what he's doing. He's setting conditions, you know, both in public and in private for Florida State to leave the ACC and most likely join the SEC. Yeah. And it's really interesting because when you look at the teams that have moved, you look at a team like Texas, Texas 
is one of the largest teams in that Big 12 conference. They really like were yeah. carrying it on their back. Texas was earning $146 million a year in revenue. That's the total they got last year. That's an incredible amount of money. And you saw them. They're they're sick of it. They just left because they're yeah. getting used. They're that cash cow for that conference. And when you're a team like that and you see these power conferences being made, as we said, the super conference, whatever you want to call them, Big Ten, SEC, and it seems like everybody's going to go there to try to compete. If you're stuck, if you're the last one stuck in the ACC, if you're the last one stuck in the Big 12 and you get left out, you're not going to be able to compete for these national titles anymore. And that's what a t- team like Florida State wants to do. They need to be able to compete for these national championships, and they're not going to be able to do it in their current situation. So if they're being uh, you know, hindered and cut off at the knees by not getting their full share of the revenue that they bring to the table, that's going to hurt them. Also, if they're not going to be able to play the top tier opponents because everyone goes into their own conferences and is going to leave everybody else out, I feel like if these conferences get big enough, Nick, there's not even going to be any out of conference games here in the near future. If these super conferences come together, they're only going to play each other within their own conferences, and then the winners of those will go on to some sort of uh, playoff game. Whenever all of this is said and done, that's what I'm thinking the future of this will be. So Florida State is doing the right thing. They see the writing on the wall like these other teams, and they're trying to jump the gun and get out as fast as possible saying, hey, either give us the money that we're owed, which I feel as if the ACC can't do that. It's going to be very tough. They they can't because the other team, the other schools won't agree to that. Right. So it's just, it's one of those perfect things where Florida state can be like, we really want this, even though they know in the back of the minds, the other schools won't agree to it. So they'll be able to leave anyway. Right. Yeah. And so they're like, either give us that, which is unreasonable or they just know it's never going to happen Yeah. or let us go. And so they're going to go and you're probably going to see, Florida State in the next five years, either be in the Big Ten or the SEC. So it, this is a very interesting move. And I it's like uh, I brought this up earlier. This is like the Le'Veon Bell of sitting out for a bigger contract. One guy did it and really stood fast to it. Maybe not work for him uh, the best. And that's like the, the first round of teams that try to jump conferences. But now you see more and more teams like, hey, we can do this. We can leverage what we bring to the table here. And uh, we are a valuable asset. So I think this is very smart. And I would look forward to look uh, FSU either being in the Big Ten and the SEC in the next five years.